Sir, would you please just, just let go? It's pinching this napkin so hard. Three little, little polyps. I have all these implements out here. You're gonna go ahead and proceed taking off these polyps and gluing them to your shell. Let's go. Let's go. So here I have a little bit, let me see if it'll focus. All right, so we got three little, little polyps. There are three little Zoa polyps, just, you know, that kind of broke off of the larger, or shall I say a lot larger colony back here. And I found it lying on the floor, or the sand bed, if you will. Why it looks like I'm about to do surgery and I have all these implements out here is because I noticed it was flapping off on one side right here where these two are almost completely detached, but they were open, so they're still alive and healthy, but they're almost completely detached from that other little one that seems pretty well anchored to this piece of live rock. So what I'm gonna do is take this hermit crab, this giant one, out of this tank right here, and I'm gonna glue it to its back. Because in this BioCube tank, these lights are awesome for growing coral. It's just up to the fish not to nip. All right, excuse all this lovely salt. Let's get in here. All right, so we gotta fish out this hermit crab. Let's go, this sucker is big. Don't bite, don't bite. Ah, they're gonna bite. Let's go, come on. Get this big old hermit crab out of here. All right, king crab. Let's go, let's go. All right, crab, I'm gonna put you on my kitchen table really quick. We're gonna go ahead and proceed with gluing, first taking off these polyps and then gluing them to your shell with Reef Safe Aqua Glue. Bruh, he is pinching this napkin so hard. I am glad that I didn't put that on my hand because that's it, the napkin's done. The napkin's done. Okay, so it seemed all three broke off. So we'll stick with all three, gluing them onto the shell anyway. That's okay. Sir, would you please just, just let go? Let go. I'm trying to make your home a piece of art here. Okay, fine. All right, you can just hang out right here, okay? Just sit tight, and we'll do this just the way this is. Just like this. It's like being at the dentist. It's just scared. At least you have a way to hide. Once you're stuck in that chair, it's over. Okay, so I really went in here. I'm gonna try to hide it in the cracks in between the spikes of this little conch shell because I know that at least it'll protect if the fish do want to nip at it because those fish when they were babies, they did happen to nip at corals. So I'm going to go ahead and you can tell this part over here is wet. Okay. And I wiped off the algae. So it's a little bit green on this paper towel. So it's going to have a little bit, a little bit more adhesive strength to grab on to this beautiful shell. There we go. A little reef glue. Sometimes it comes out, oh, I was gonna say, sometimes it comes out a little bit thick. That's a thick, thick boy. That's that's too thick, that's too much. So if it is too much, you can just kind of work it off a little bit. Hopefully it's not too stringy like it is for me. Make it a thinner layer and you'll be good. Now I'm gonna take these three little beautiful polyps we have here, make sure I locate the underside. So we glue the correct part in the correct direction. I'm gonna plop it right over. Hopefully it falls over perfectly. Bloop, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Don't wanna push them too hard, but they are resting right there. So that's where they'll remain on top of this little shell. That's gonna harden real quick. We're gonna go ahead and just dab it in some salt water to activate that glue and put it back in the tank. But first we have to check on our patient. Is our patient okay? Sir, sir, sir. You can wake up now. You can let go now too. All right, so let's get a little bit of some salt water from the tank. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here and hopefully if we can get our patient really quick and pull him away really quick. Pull, ah, he's stuck. He's pulling, stop pulling, please stop pulling. Yeah, this crab is committed. So to dry that little section up, let's go ahead and do a little dippity do in the water. And there you go. Hopefully they'll be stuck good. Hopefully I didn't push them too hard against the glue so they're not too submerged under the glue. Hopefully they'll be fine. We'll check back soon. Oh, 
the beast, the beast. You can go back home now. You can go back in your home real quick. Plop you in quick. Bloop. Okie doke. Put you right back there perfectly. All right, we'll check back on you soon. As simple as that. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for a possible part two.